Hey guys, welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about lysosomes. So what are the lysosomes? Lysosomes are membrane bound vesicles present in eukaryotic cell. Now the term lysosome itself says it has something to do with lysis or digestion. So that is correct. Lysosomes are digestive organelles present in eukaryotic cells. They are membrane bound vesicles, they are the digestive organelles. And if they are digestive organelles, what is needed over here for digestion? They should have specific hydrolytic enzymes. Right? Then only it can carry out the lytic function. So it contains different types of hydrolytic enzymes which can uh, hydrolyze protein, nucleic acid, carbohydrates, etc. And from where does these enzymes come from? You know enzymes are made up of protein and where protein synthesis occurs in eukaryote in the rough endoplasmic reticulum where the ribosomes are present. So these digestive enzymes are formed in the rough endoplasmic reticulum in the cell near and once these proteins are formed, the enzymes are formed, it will be transported to the Golgi apparatus for the packing. Right? It will be transported to the Golgi apparatus by the transport vesicle for packaging. So once these proteins reach in the Golgi apparatus, it will be packed and it will bud off in the cytoplasm. Now there is one very peculiar quality about this hydrolysis is that it needs acidic environment in order to be active all right and the uh, lysosomal compartment has the acidic environment and the ph is around 4.6 that works out good and because of this they are called acid hydrolases all right so now why do we need such bags of you know digestive enzymes floating around in the cytoplasm what are the functions of lysosome so we can break down the functions of lysosome in two broad categories. One is autophagy. The term itself says autophagy means self-eating. Now why does a cell need self-eating? That's like suicidal. Why does it need that? Now this is a phenomena occurring for any old organelle or any non-functional organelle in the cell. If say for example there is a mitochondria that is really old and it is not functioning properly, it needs to be removed from the cell. It needs to be digested. So what happens is the lysosomes would fuse with such mitochondria. I'm so sorry I'm not that good with diagrams. So this lysosome would fuse with this mitochondria and the enzymes would digest this mitochondria will break down in smaller pieces. Now there's nothing going waste over here you know once the mitochondria or any macromolecule that is digested by lysosome it breaks it down to its very basic unit. So whatever is the remaining or the breakdown product will be recycled in the cytoplasm. Say for example it has uh, broken down some protein that means it is going to release amino acid in the cytoplasm which will be reused in the cell. So that's all about autophagy. Autophagy is self-eating. Remember it is a phenomena occurring when there is old or non-functional organelle in the cell. Now the second function versus this is when something harmful or dangerous is entering from outside to inside of a cell. Some external material has entered in the cell. So phagocytosis is the best example to understand this. We know phagocytosis is uh, when the phagocytic cells, uh, say for example macrophages and neutrophils, engulf any bacteria or any um, harmful pathogen, it forms the phagosome, right? When it engulfs the bacteria or antigen, it is going to form the phagosome. This phagosome would fuse with the lysosome once again and it forms the phagolysosome all right and as a result of this fusion this bacteria in the phagolysosome would be degraded by these hydrolytic enzymes so phagocytosis is an example where the lysosomes degrade something which has come from the external environment which is harmful for the cell so that's all these are the functions of lysosome and uh, that's all about lysosome in general uh, I hope this video was helpful. Do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and I'll see you next time. Until then, keep learning.